Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to do a span capture in Cisco IOS XR router. This is the SR9K router running a Cisco IOS XR software and um, we are going to do the span capture on an interface 0001. Whatever traffic coming inside and outside of this interface we will uh, send it to the interface 0002 where the laptop is connected and uh, where you will be running the uh, wire shock to, uh, to capture all the traffic coming out of it. Now let's go to the config mode and configure the span capture. Monitor session. Let's give it a name. Test Siva. Ethernet. Then the destination interface. The destination interface is nothing but the interface where we connect the laptop. That is this interface. And then we go into the interface, the actual interface uh, whose traffic we are spanning now. So that is interface Gigi0001. So in this interface, uh, we have to call the monitor session that we just created. Ethernet. So this is the config required for the span capture. First we create a monitor session, then we give the interface, the destination interface where the laptop is connected and uh, we give the, uh, the actual go inside the in interface where you are going to to the span and call that uh, monitor session name there. Now let's check the interface stats now. Show interface gigi zero slash zero slash zero slash two where actually we are going to take the span out. So check on this interface. So once we commit whatever traffic you see on the input and output, everything will go outside of the interface 0002 where the laptop is connected. So I'm going to comment this config now. is committed. Let's check the interface. The interface where the laptop is connected right now we can see only the output traffic is there. And we can also run one more command show monitor session counters. It will show how many packets uh, getting replicated. Both the uh, TX and RX, we can see how many packets uh, it's getting replicated of an interface. So, whatever traffic that is coming on this interface 0001 that is getting replicated and that is uh, being sent out of this interface 002 and that's why we see only outgoing traffic on this interface there is one more command we can run actually monitor interface first uh, let's monitor this interface where the actual traffic is coming and going out and we will also monitor the interface where uh, the laptop is connected that is 002 so if you see the traffic coming in and going out on the first interface 001 and that is getting replicated and being sent out of this interface 0002 so I'm going to initiate some traffic now uh, towards uh, this uh, interface 0001 and let's see the same amount of traffic is getting uh, replicated and sent out of 002 also.
So I'm going to initiate a ping towards the loopback IP of this uh, ASR9K and uh, increase the traffic rate there. So you can see now when the continuous ping is going on, the traffic is increasing on uh, Gigi0001. The incoming and outgoing traffic is increasing and uh, on the interface Gigi0002 uh, only on the outgoing direction we can see the traffic uh, is getting increased because whatever traffic coming in uh, 001 it's getting uh, spanned and uh, sent out of this interface 0002 and then it goes to the laptop laptop uh, we have to run the wireshark and uh, whatever packets coming out of this 002 will be captured in wireshark as a pcap file so that's the procedure how you will run a um, uh, span capture on uh, Cisco ASR9K. So the commands are like uh, show run formal pipe include monitor so we have to create a monitor session and give the destination interface where the laptop is connected and the actual interface which we are going to span under that we just give monitor session and the session name and then ethernet thanks for watching the video uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that when i upload a new video you will get an alert